Hey friends, Steve Long here, and I am with Lillian Brown, who leads our Supernatural Ministries at Catch the Fire Church. And we are talking about 35 different statements that we feel that God's given to us. And we're spending one session on each one of these. And so uh, I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you are as well. But today's topic is this, and it's a, it's a good one. <laughs> we are inspired and compelled to bring the supernatural reality of the kingdom of God to the world around us. And Lillian, this is right down your alley. You were hired by Sandra and I because of all of our pastoral team, we felt that you function in the supernatural better than everyone else. Well, thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> so what, what are, first of all, what are supernatural ministries? So here at Catch the Fire, supernatural ministries include what we do on a Sunday, how we minister to our church family. So that would be our healing center where people come for physical healing, our prophetic team, where people come to hear from God, and our ministry team, where they cover everything else in terms of what kind of prayers that people need. So it's a, this is the, the power of God, isn't it? This is the, the words of God, like a prophet. This is the hand of God for healing. This is the tangible, life-changing things that we're believing for every single Sunday when our church family meets. That's right. Not just that, small groups, yeah. all of those kind of things. We believe in the supernatural. Absolutely. And, um, you know, it's so interesting that I've searched the Bible and I look for the word supernatural. And we really don't see that anywhere in the Bible. But what we do see are the things that Jesus did. And when we think of the supernatural, we can do nothing outside of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because he's the one who, who actually demonstrated this. And he did it from a heart of love. When he saw people in need, Jesus would just come along and he would heal people. He would speak into their lives. He would offer them comfort. And we take the lead from Jesus in what we do in supernatural ministries. Yep. Yeah. So in the Lord's Prayer, uh -huh. Matthew chapter 6, Jesus has in the prayer, your kingdom come, you, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So the kingdom of God is this new reality. It's above the political system. It's above the, the governments of the world. It's above the business of, of the world. It's heaven coming to planet earth. Mm -hmm. And what we know about heaven is that all relationships are good relationships in heaven, no financial problems. And Revelation says that nobody is sick. Nobody has mental health challenges. There's no depression, none of those things. And so when we're when we're believing for the supernatural, we're knowing that those things are already happening in heaven right now, mm -hmm. and they're to continue to be happening with us on earth right now. Yes. So we're believing for big changes. We're, we're believing for miracles. Every time we come expectant, because what the supernatural does, it takes us outside of ourselves. It's something that we engage in and we access that we know that's bigger than us. And the power of God supersedes anything that we can do in our own natural strength. So what we do is we access his power. We reach into heaven and we say we know that what is going on in heaven is for us. So we're going to reach up to you in faith and declare it and ask for it and watch it come to pass on the earth. Steve, there's nothing more exciting than praying a prayer, ministering to somebody, and watching the miracle happen in front of yeah, your face. I, I absolutely agree. And one of the things, friends, that uh, it's not unique to Catch the Fire, but we're certainly one of the churches that promotes teams of people to do the ministry, not just a anointed man or woman of God, who's very anointed often, and we watch them do this stuff, but we're following after the church in Antioch where it says the people were called Christians. Mm -hmm. And the word Christian means little anointed one, meaning that that church was the first church to have teams. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just come and watch the apostles do the miracles, mm -hmm. but now teams of people were doing it. And the reputation was anybody from that church in Antioch can do a miracle for you. Yes. I'm believing that that's our destiny. I am believing and I am pressing in for this. 
one of the reasons that I'm so thrilled to be leading the, the teams in the supernatural realm is because I have been asking God personally, saying, God, I want to see, just like he said, you know what Jesus said, on earth as it is in heaven, and I have been pressing in and asking God, we want to witness what you have promised us is going to happen on the earth. Mm -hmm. And we are a church. We are a revival church. We're a church that moves in the prophetic. Yeah. We're a church that believe in the power of prayer. So Jesus, let it come here and let it be done. And you know, one of the stories in the Bible that really thrills me, Jesus took mud. Like this is a natural form, yeah. something on the earth. And when he took that mud and he put it on that blind, blind man's eye, that was a supernatural event. There was something that happened. He took plain mud and it became supernatural because it touched a man's eye and he regained mm -hmm. his sight. And Steve, I am believing beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are coming into a season of what we're going to see, such miracles take place among us that we ourselves, we ourselves would not believe it if we don't witness it with Absolutely. our own eyes. So friends, this is not pre-scripted as you can figure out. <laughs> we're just making this up, not making it up, but we're, we're on a little bit of a journey. So I'm gonna put Lillian on the spot. Lillian, about four years ago, went with Sandra and I to Mozambique, Africa, and you got to pray for a baby that had died. The mother put a baby in your arms. Yes. What was that like to see a baby come back to life? Steve, I was, it took me 48 hours, I think. <laughs> <laughs> when we got back to base, I was saying to God, did that really happen? Because in the moment when the mother brought this baby, his eyes were turned back in his head. They were wide, his eyelids were wide open. His, he his eyes were turned back in his head. There was no life in him. And the mother came to us in the middle of the jungle and she brings the baby and a man is going, meaning the baby's dead. Mm -hmm. Pray and, you know, pray. Yeah. And we just prayed. We didn't know what else to do except to say, Jesus, mm -hmm. please come. Because in that moment, we recognize our ineptness, our inability to mm -hmm. do anything. But all we did was we prayed, Jesus, please come and heal this baby. And I want to tell you, when that baby took a long breath like this and opened his eyes and started looking around, I had never felt so humbled yep. and so thankful in that moment yep. that Jesus came and brought this baby back to life. Yeah. And the reality took a long time for me to sink in, mm -hmm. but I'm so thankful that he came. Yeah. And I got to witness that. And even today, sometimes when I pray, if I ever feel, you know, God, I'm praying, but I don't know if you're going to come. I remember that story sometimes. And I say, Jesus, thank you. You came then, yeah. you're going to come now. Yeah, it's good friends that we all have some history of God doing supernatural things because when we're, in a tough place for ourselves or for family, for friends, we want to be able to push in and believe that God is a supernatural God. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm so thankful, Steve, that he still comes. Still comes. Yeah. When we ask him, he comes. And we still see signs, wonders, and miracles. And I'm looking forward to the bigger ones that are about to hit us. Amen. Yeah. Amen.